In September 2021, CompTIA introduced the updated version to the Network Plus exam, the Network Plus N10008. This version will fully replace the N10007 in June 2022. About 25% of the overall exam has been updated. You will be expected to explain the characteristics and network topology of the SD-WAN, and you'll need to know how it's used to provide secure, reliable transportation in the same way WANs use MPLS. The network security section has four major updates. Virtualization, cellular 5G, the Internet of Things, the cloud. The exam objectives requires knowledge on different provider links such as Metro Optical and Lease Line. This is now covered because so many people work from home, so CompTIA adapted their certification. The exam will also test your knowledge on troubleshooting a cloud VM that is not connecting to the internet. You should have an understanding of how to harden a VM, which ports should be open and closed upon startup. And finally, you will need to understand handling identity access and management in a purely virtual environment. SD-WAN's 5G combination will be a game change with regards to network connectivity. Once again, this has everything to do with the new work from home life. You will be expected to know how to troubleshoot 5G connectivity. For instance, since 5G is short range bandwidth, it only works within 1,000 feet of the 5G tower. When troubleshooting, verify the user is within range of the tower. These sorts of questions and more will be on the exam. Items such as refrigerators, speakers, thermostats, and doorbells are on the N10008, so make sure you know how to remotely access IoT devices on your network. Also, all IoT devices have a log that monitors their activity. Understanding how to access these logs is vital to passing the exam. For example, it is possible you will have to program a thermostat from a centralized location and turn it up or down depending on local weather conditions. As the world becomes more and more interconnected, the demand for professionals to troubleshoot them is increasing. Cloud knowledge seems to be the biggest difference between the two exams. In the previous test, only broad knowledge of the cloud was needed. It is now required to understand cloud redundancy concepts such as warm site, cold site, and hot site. In addition to redundancy, load balancing traffic is a critical component of cloud technology. Expect questions on different load balancing methods and when to use different types. One way to think of the cloud is as a giant server with the capability of serving virtually anything the end user needs. That means all the actions it performs are a service. Therefore, all its capabilities have, as a service, appended to them. Software, infrastructures, platform, and desktop as a service will be covered on the exam. Think of SaaS as things like Office 365, Azure AD, or the AWS Management Console. They are accessed from a web browser and everything is hosted in the cloud. EAS is creating networking applications in the cloud. The routers, switches, firewalls, and everything else you need is located here. PASS deals with the actual deployment of applications via the cloud. It deals with the intelligent provision of infrastructure and the deployment of code via continuous delivery. DAS allows administrators to provision customized desktops to users. The desktops will have provisioned SaaS application and storage. Remember, this is a networking exam, not a cloud exam. So you are not required to have in-depth understanding of all of these, but it is necessary to know what they are, how to troubleshoot them, and basic configuration. The N10008 is an excellent way to learn everything about computer networking. Additionally, it's a great way to build fences around the knowledge you know and show it to prospective employers in a tangible way. If you would like to learn more about CompTIA Network Plus, sign up for a free CBT Nuggets trial. There's no credit card required and you can see if this certification is right for you. Thanks for watching.